I've decided over time, different materials, really for a couple of reasons. Original thought is always a conceptual one. Salt has this beautiful metaphor of life and death. It's able to preserve. It was used many years ago just to preserve meats, to preserve food and all this stuff. And then on the other hand, it's a super corrosive, can destroy just about anything. I like that idea that salt had that, that duality to it because it, it, it's not just about, oh, it's a beautiful material. It is beautiful, but it also has this sort of resonance to it conceptually. What I always found not intriguing about cement is that it's like a dead material in a weird way. So I wanted to see if I could take this sort of dead material and invigorate it with some idea of life. We try to cast things where they have these veins and we, we call them pore lines, these V shapes that start to emulate stone or start to emulate marble or this or that. This particular cement we can sand and polish to feel like butter. I mean, I'm attracted to those materials because they can be so many different things. They can be, they can be crushed or, or super fine and each one gives you a, a sort of different texture, different feel, and they're still sort of conceptual. They're all about natural materials being repurposed into fine art pieces or, or furniture pieces. There's three components that make a perfect work of art or a perfect piece of furniture in my mind. The form, the material, and the content. So you're like affected by it because it's visually stunning, hopefully. And then two, like, oh, how is this made? What is this made out of? And then if they want to think about it, maybe they could read the title or read something about the work to discover maybe some of the content of the work. If those three things are in perfect harmony, you really can't make a bad piece of work. Thank <music> you.